welcome back to the channel so today we are going to discuss this popular sql uh, scenario based interview question and answer so the name of the problem is swap id so in this problem we have been given uh, two columns that is the name and id and in the output also we have the name and id now let's compare the values in both the columns so if you see here in the name uh, the values in the name column for the uh, output table remains as it is right we don't have we don't have any changes but in the id column if you see the values are not like that they are not same they are just swapped value so if you see here here for a and b we have one and two but in the output table we have two and one here in the value for the cd it's three and four but here in the output we have four and three for E, we have phi only, right? Because we don't have anything, we don't have any next value to swap these two, right? So we need to rem uh, like take it as it is. How we can approach this problem, right? So by looking at the input and the output, we can see that it is just a swap of previous and next. Let me write this. Swap of previous and next value or id so if you see here this is one this is two so the previous of uh, two is what one so the previous of two is one and uh, the ne the next of one is two so that's where we have the swap right so for this one since this is the first id uh, and it is odd right we numbering start from one two three four five right so this is odd so what we are saying take the next value so that's where we have the next value this is two like we are processing the second row this is two and uh, the value is even so basically what we are saying for the odd we are saying take the next value and for the even we are saying take the previous value like this is what we can see from the input and output so this is two we are saying take the previous value that's why we have one same way let's process this one this is odd three we are saying take the next value so we have four over here this is even we are saying take the previous value we have three over here for five we don't have anything after this like since this is odd and uh, for odd we are looking for the next value and we don't have anything so in the, that scenario we need to have it as it is right so how we can approach this problem basically to write this in sql what we can do is here we can see we just need the next and previous value right so next can be found using the lead window function previous can be found using the lag window function we can like use these two function window function and uh, solve this problem right so let's jump to the dweaver console and uh, write the code for this one. Okay, so this is the input table. Let me run this. So I will provide the create statement in the description section. You can uh, take the script from there and try it by yourself also. Right. So this is the input, same input. Now, as we discussed, we just need to find the lead and lag of id column so we can write like this we can take everything and then we can take lead lead of what lead of id column over order by we can write id so we can say that as next id same way we need the lag also right so we can paste over here here we can have lag and this we can write as lag lag not lag uh, previous previous id and we can just run it okay we have syntax error so this should not be there okay now if you can see uh, we have name id and uh, the next that is the lead and the previous that is the lag right now this we can put in the ct so we can write with ct as and we can select from ct so the next what we can do is as we discuss over here 
सो फॉर द ऑड वी नीड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू एंड फॉर द इवन वी नीड द प्रीवियस वैल्यू हाउ वी कैन डिस्टिंग विज द ऑड एंड इवन वी कैन जस्ट हैव इट लाइक द आई डी मॉड्यूलर टू राइट सो वी कैन राइट केस वैन आई डी मॉड्यूलर टू इज इक्वल टू वन सो वैन आई डी मॉड्यूलर टू इज वन दैट इज द ऑड केस सो इन द ऑड केस दैट इज दिस वन वी नीड द नेक्स्ट वैल्यू सो वी कैन राइट केस वैन आई डी मॉड्यूलर टू इज टू इज वन देन we need next id else we need previous id so in case of even we just need the previous id and we can name this as new id right we can just select this we have issue okay so this should be end as okay now we have the new id column but if you see here like now let's compare the value so new id is nothing but the uh, our required answer and these two columns are the intermediate columns which we created that we don't need in the output so if you see here uh, here we have 1 2 here we have 2 1 here we have 3 4 here we have 4 3 but for 5 we wanted this to be 5 uh, as it is since we don't have anything next right this is what we need in the output also right we need 5 so what we can do is over here is while finding the lead and lag we can just have this like this so what we are saying over here lead uh, so let's say uh, we are taking the lead for this one so four lead is five like one says that we need to take the lead that is the next one only uh, and the id so id column says whenever we like you will not find the value that is the next value take the id column the value which we are processing as it is that's what we are saying over here so if you see here like if i uh, like uh, click over here uh, you can see the uh, this message right the column not found in the data set same way for this one like uh, id the next we are saying that take the next one like the first uh, direct next here we don't have anything so we are saying take id as it is so here uh, like the here the value would be one and same way for the previous also since we don't have anything before this so this is null right so the same way we can write if the value is not present the next the next previous value is not present then take the value as it is let me run only this piece and explain you so now you can see for this one uh next is 5 and for this one the previous is 1 itself right we don't have null so now let's run entire thing okay now you can see 2 1 4 3 and here we have the 5 i think we got our required output and here we just need the name column we don't name we don't need everything so now we have the name and the new column so yes this was the quick solution uh i think i, I took this problem because this is quite popular you will see this problem in a lot of interviews so let's meet in the next problem until then bye